Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can create um, 3D mapping of a certain image onto um, a wall or the surface of the table. So let me demonstrate how uh, it looks like first. So this is the finished one. So for example, I was here. Uh, maybe I mute my own voice first. Okay, so this is um, a video clip that I shot on top of a table that I pan the camera from the left to the right, okay, with some movement and tilting uh, and rotation of the camera. So you can see uh, there's um, the finished product. Uh, okay, so th there's an image with the pillow, or the bed uh, uh, on the table, but originally the movie is like this. Let me show you that this is the original movie. Okay, I was here. Okay, I, I, myself okay it's a, just a piece of paper blank one moving from uh, the left of the table to the right of the table and that's it so how I did it uh, mapping the image here is okay I need to uh, uh, use DaVinci Resolve so this is the DaVinci Resolve 17 so maybe I start over everything so I delete everything and I will import the video I um, just took from my phone so you can see uh, when I click it, it's the same thing. Okay, uh, this this is uh. the video. Okay, with the camera movement. So I just right click, create new timeline using the selected clip. Click create, and then you go to the edit panel. Then you can uh, mute my your own voice. Okay, for example, my voice is not helping. Then I mute it. So now I move from the left of the timeline to from the beginning to the end. You can see, okay, the camera is moving. The table is, uh, um, is stable. Uh, nothing, nothing happened on the table, but just the camera movement. So I would like to replace this piece of white A4 paper with an image. So I'm going to show you how I can do it. So first of all, okay, you select this clip. And then you go to the next tab on the bottom, which is this uh, with a magic wand, magic wand here. Okay, and then you can see. Okay, this is uh, the the area I will work on to make the camera tracking. So I need to track the camera in a virtual three D world to make everything happen. So the first thing I need to do is, I will click, I will press Shift Space, Shift Space on the keyboard. And then you it will bring up this panel and then you type tracker okay so you have the camera tracker so after you click the camera tracker here and then click the add button then it will add to the canvas so the next step is you cancel this connection from the media in to the media out so you click uh, drag a line from the box uh, at the end of the media one and put it to the camera one and then drag a line from the camera run to the media out or maybe I need to click on this line and then make it disappear and then do the uh, output to the media out so now you can see the media in which is the video here pass through the camera tracker and then it will go back to the media out so that you can see it so the thing you need to do is you click on the camera tracker now and then you go to the right hand side open the inspector to see this panel and then you can strictly go for the auto track okay nothing special to to set just go for an auto track in case your scene only have the table and the object no nothing else uh, is there then it would be simply you just click the auto track then it will run through the whole canvas once and then try to check if how the uh, to, to understand how the camera is moving virtually okay so after you click the auto track then you go to uh, solve here and then try to click the soft button okay it's simple just click the soft button and then we'll run through the algorithm and find out how the camera is actually moving so in case you can see there's a number very important every soft error is 0 0.185 it's more less than 0 0.5 pixel or as more as possible this is a good number if it is small enough then the tracking will be very accurate okay for this is okay if not then you have to adjust this free slider to make sure you can um, you can create a better accuracy after you do that then you go to the, um, okay, go to the 3d scene transform here 
okay set this one to unaligned so you go to somewhere for example making the uh, the paper more flat here and then now you select all the pixels all the green dots around this paper if something is missing just hold the shift key to see that okay all the points right around this paper and then click set from selection and then also click on this set from selection and then you go back to align then this number will adjust it so it is easier for you to manage later after that then you just click the export button once click it and then it, there will be a bunch of things appear here, here okay so after you do the tracking then you will okay, they will create the camera in 3d virtual scene okay now then the camera tracker has no use anymore you just delete it okay and also delete this line and then from here the the end of the camera tracker render put a line the connection to the media out okay so now you can uh, start to create something so the ground plane is no not useful just uh, disconnect it okay then you will have a clear scene here click this one and drag to the scene then you will see some magic comes out okay there's a bunch of uh, points okay so from here you try to hold the shift key hold the shift key and use the in the trackpad try to use uh, scroll through it to make sure it uh, it fill up the scene like this okay hold the command key and scroll will will zoom in and out so from for now you try to make a selection of the points uh, around the a4 paper okay for example like this and then right click on the uh, selected point and here at the bottom point cloud 3d1 here create image plane okay and then you will now see there's a, a white paper a, a plane here so create image plane is actually this one on the lower, lower right corner you can see it what you need to do is you import another image i drag it to my media pool and then i drag it to somewhere next to the image plane and then in the media i'll drag it to the image plane then the image plane will be replaced with this image okay so uh from this moment on i can just uh select this cloud point cloud 3d because it's so uh annoying appear on the screen then you just change it to points okay and then now you can see the image is here so you can go back to the media out drag the media out to the scene and you can see how the image plane is actually appear on the screen so if you play the movie now the image plane is moving together with your scene but it is not really covering correctly on the a4 paper so what you need to do is you have to select the image plane okay and go to transform and there's several things you can adjust for example rotation so you rotate z uh, here or oh, not so you should rotate the y then you can see you can rotate the image and then you can also scale the image to make it smaller okay so that you can see the white a4 paper and rotate the y again until it aligns with the angle of the a4 paper you can also move the translation to make sure the uh, the image is matching the the A4 paper. Okay, so make it a little bit larger than the paper, and then now you can preview the effect of of the movement. Okay, it's totally covering the A4 paper now. Okay, so now you may go to the deliver uh, the page and then try to specify an area maybe on your desktop or your, to the download and then uh, give it a name. For example, I will give it a render and add it to the render queue and then click render all. After some time, it will create a, um, the image mapping video. Okay, so it takes some time okay so finally it, it finished so i can go to the desktop and preview the final product so uh, because i didn't do the scaling correctly so you can see still some glitches here the original paper comes out from somewhere and with the 3d transformation okay just like 
is the real object it appear on that uh, on the real world so thank you so hope you can learn this